Hello, my friends. I'm Darth Paradigm. What you see before you is a saber that was created for me by Revan Sabers. Now, uh, Jamie at Revan Sabers, he uh, he constructed this from scratch, and it bears my namesake. This is the Paradigm. See, I'm I'm Darth Paradigm. So, well, this is the Paradigm. <laughs> I'm not really going to uh, do much in the way of descriptions here. Your eyes work. <laughs> I hope. There's an anti-vandal switch. What turns on the saber. And uh, real leather wrap. You get to the pommel. And in Arbush, it reads, Paradigm, me. Hooray! And this little uh, cap here on the on the end. Now that that's access to the battery. So I'm gonna do a bit of a cutaway to show you how one accesses the batteries on a, a Revan saber. Now, not all Revan sabers are created equal. Some of them are completely different. Some of them have different pummels. With different ways to access the uh, the batteries. Now this just uses three AAA batteries. The Stun Saber, and uh, I requested a cyan uh, LED setup and a 32 inch blade is sort of standard uh, for Revan Sabers. Jamie constructs them himself. And it's a, a really nice finish. It's kind of a trans white meets uh, Saber Forge Infinity uh, V4 type blade, but like I said, handmade and diffused. And uh, let's turn this on. My finger got in the way for a second. Oh well. Now, cyan is, uh, I would say it's 75% blue, 25% green. It's a nice mix. Uh, it's a it's the perfect color for um, for mixing, which is why it is used in four color process: CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Uh, and that's that's what I do for a living. So I print things, or at least I try to, when the machines are working. <laughs> uh, so let me just give you a little bit of a. Little bit of a tour here. And then we'll uh, we'll get down to the business of showing you how the how the batteries work on this thing. Let's see the other side and the bottom. Now the trick is uh, with Revan Sabres is that uh Jamie makes each hilt unique. No two, no two sabers, no two hilts are exactly alike. And he's constantly, um, constantly changing his approach, or how do I put this? Evolving, I guess. Learning new skills, trying new things, um, creating. A wide array of various and sundry uh, sabers. I personally requested a Ram Coda, and a Ram Coda I got, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. It was a very, very uh, nimble hilt, very solid, as you can hear. The blade is, uh, well, I think it's quite robust. I think it might even be a heavy. I'm not too sure. I neglected to ask but it's very comfortable because it doesn't have a lot of greebles and doodads and thingamaboingers kind of kicking off the surface other than this uh, blade retention thumb screw slash not so much a thumb screw and uh, the aforementioned uh, AV switch yeah um, as uh, 
those of us who have discovered Ray, uh, Revan Sabres, which includes myself and Stony Magnum, he has several. This is my second. I have the third on the way. I have a Bastille Sham or Bastille or Bastille Sham or what, how, however you pronounce the name from um, uh, the old Republic there, video games. I have a, a double-bladed uh, saber coming, which is going to be a dead ringer for uh, for her saber, complete with uh, two hilts that would come apart and function independent from one another. Yellow blades, it's going to be spectacular. I've seen the thing in uh, in a partial state of completion, and um, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. Now, uh, one thing I do want to address, as uh, someone had mentioned, from um, looking at the hilts on Etsy's uh, website, they looked a little bit earthy and, uh, you know, mostly, well, earth tones, browns, subdued colors. Um, this is actually, I mean, of course the leather wrap is brown, but this is a combination of black and, and just aluminum colors, and brass and brass and, you know, it's, so it's, it is a kind of a silver and black motif. Actually, the leather on this, uh. It's mostly black. You can kind of see, uh, you know, you can kind of see, obviously, the brown peeking through from where the battle damage is. And, uh, yeah, so don't let the don't let the photos on the website fool you. Um, just just go by the, the design and the aesthetics and, and just the inherent beauty of, of the hilts. Um, they're, they're just, uh, they're a delight. They're, they're very comfortable to hold. They're durable, and they're just going to last you forever. So, um, yeah, that that's basically all I have to say about that. So let's uh, let's switch uh, switch angles here, and um, I'm going to show you how the uh, how the battery is coming out of this thing. Okay, I right. got my trusty set of tools, including my Allen wrenches, and uh, let's see if I can do what I did the last time, which was. Yes, immediately select the exact size that I needed. Huzzah. Okay. Let's get this in frame. There we go. So you just unscrew this, uh, this uh, screw. And then this slides out. It's all contained in one uh, easy to access sort of makeshift chassis. It's a very interesting uh, construction in here. This whole brass fitting kind of has a uh, plastic tube, not unlike the material the blades are made out of. In fact, I think it might even be the same thing. And then you've got your, uh, your little chassis, which holds the, um, the battery pack. It's not really a chassis, it's a battery pack. So this runs off of three AAA batteries held in place. Uh, by a, well, not held in place. It's plugged in with a, a quick release, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can look inside if you want. All right. And uh, once you get your batteries in here, you just uh, slide this back in until it stops. Okay. And you just kind of hold it. And. Uh, You'll want to uh, tighten this, not until you hear a cracking, but just until you, you get some resistance. Usually that's good enough. There we go. And that's going to be firmly in there, as you can see. None the worse for wear. And there you have it. So uh, you get the gist. And that is uh, that is my... My paradigm, my second hilt uh, from Revan Sabres, and uh, the third one should be here, well, I would imagine probably within a couple weeks, thereabouts, and I'll have an unboxing and a review of that. Now, why aren't you closing? Ah, that's why. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps this up. So, um, I give, uh, I give... Revan Sabres and uh, Jamie, 10 out of 10. This is uh, phenomenal work. This is a uh, 
hilt that's going to be with me uh, for the remainder of my existence on this planet. Maybe someday I'll pass this down to someone as an heirloom or, or someone will pry it from my cold, dead hands after combat. Or uh, perhaps uh, some alien race will conquer this planet finally and uh, wonder why we didn't use these to fight them since uh, apparently they are uh, susceptible to LEDs. It's the ultimate weapon against them. <laughs> or just, you know, being bopped in the head. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there you have it. Um, if you have any questions regarding Revan Sabres, I'm more than happy to ask them. I'll put the uh, link to Revan Sabres Epsi store on, uh, in the description, as well as um, he also has a Facebook page. Obviously, he's also you can find him on Insta Instagram, uh, which is a really good way to to um, to contact them. I actually uh, talked to Jamie uh, from Revan Sabres awesome uh, often. Um, because, um, well, we're, I'm just, I'm constantly buying things from them now. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, well, may the force be with you. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. You guys take care and goodbye.